Manchester, a city in the north of England with a population of over half a million. It makes this city the fifth most populated city in the UK, but together with neighboring cities, it's the second largest agglomeration. Today, I'm taking you to the most famous places in Manchester. one of the largest football museums in the world. Fifteenth of June, 1996, in Manchester city centre, a bomb placed in a lorry was detonated by the IRA. The attack aimed at the infrastructure and economy of the city. This red postbox is an interesting symbol. It survived the explosion and the later scene contained reached the recipients the next day. After three years, the renovated postbox was placed in the same place. Piccadilly Gardens is an open green space located in the heart of the city centre, surrounded by lots of historical and modern buildings. There are many bus stops and metroing stations. This is where public transport lines converge. It's easy to get here from most places surrounding Manchester. There is also nearby the busy train station Manchester Piccadilly. Manchester Central, one of the main railway terminals between 1880 and 1969. It's been converted into exhibition and conference center. Many events take place here. Due to the COVID epidemic, currently there is a temporary and NHS hospital here. Manchester Town Hall was built in 1876, at the height of the city's industrial expansion, and is one of the finest examples of neo-Gothic architecture in the UK, designed by architect Alfred Waterhouse. The Waterhouse design was chosen for its stark contrast to the neoclassical architecture present in Liverpool, Manchester's local industrial rival. The Town Hall and its iconic birthright resemble a miniature version of the Palace of Westminster. In many films, the London Palace is placed by Manchester Town Hall. John Ryland's library is new a Gothic building from the Victorian period. John Ryland was a rich man, Manchester's first multi-millionaire, the owner of the largest British textile company at the end of the 19th century. After his death, his wife and widow, Enriqueta Ryland, undertook to commemorate her husband and commissioned the construction of a library. Today the library is part of the University of Manchester. the second largest Chinatown in the UK after London and the third largest in Europe. There is a characteristic gate with dragons and phoenixes called Pai Fang. The gate was ordered by the city concert built in China and it's a gift to Manchester's Asian community.
Long before Manchester had football, it had cotton. The increased levels of production achieved by the new mills and the Lancashire, the title of the workshop of the world, with Manchester becoming known as a Cottonopolis, the largest industrial city in the world. In Australia and New Zealand, the word Manchester is still used as a synonym for textiles. As a result of this industrial revolution, the city amassed a lot of cotton warehouses. Of course, today these buildings play different roles. For example, one of them is now a hotel. Manchester Royal Exchange, the hut of Cottonopolis. This is where textiles were traded. 